Wanderers, we are here at the International Rose Test Garden just outside of Portland, and it is a free rose garden, and my oh my. Located just west of downtown Portland, in Washington Park, the Portland Rose International Test Garden is definitely one of the Rose City's gems. Now, it was officially conceived in 1917, so that currently makes it over 100 plus years old. Not only can I get the stats, guys, I can do the math in my head as well. And if you want some more impressive stats, it has over 10,000 different rose bushes in the entire garden. Pretty freaking crazy, right? It's called the Rose City for a reason, and they have thousands, tens of thousands, I don't even know, uh, roses around the area. And I challenge you to smell them all, even the ones with the bees and the flowers. Don't be a wimp, get stung, guys. Do it for the gram. Oh, no, it smells great, it's gorgeous. Spend a lot of time here checking them all out, guys. It's one of two gardens that we will be visiting, at least in the Portland area. I'm blown away. But every rose has its thorn, because I'm sweating my ass off. Let's keep on going. With countless different shades of red, pink, purple, orange, white, black. Just kidding, I don't even think black roses exist, but that'd be pretty freaking cool, right? You will be spoiled with just the sheer variation in this garden. Technically, there's over 610 different varieties of roses in the whole garden. Really cool, especially because not only do they have a distinct look, they have their own distinct tastes. <laughs> not, <laughs> not taste, smells. Only use your nose in the garden, guys, please. So do you know when you're traveling and you're taking a trip, hiking, camping, or just sightseeing, it can be kind of hard to find a place to sit sometimes, especially if you're in nature or there's nowhere available, or you're about to pass out sniffing every single rose in sight. So don't depend on it providing for you. Provide for yourself. Bring your own seat. I'm talking about this collapsible stool from Simply Cool Things. You can find it on Amazon, guys. It's only two pounds and it's super easy to bring along with you with a strap. It's not gonna really tire you out too because it's so light. The nice thing about it is it is collapsible. So you just open it up, give it a little twist, lock it in tight, and boom, you have your own seat, guys. I'm so thankful to have this because I don't know where else the hell I'd be sitting right now. Well, you're not gonna have a couch or a chair in public, so make sure you get this, guys, if you're interested in something like this. Again, definitely recommend for the traveler or anyone taking a trip in the outdoors. Look for my discount code for 10% off of this item. All right, guys, they're coming. I gotta go. <laughs> All right guys, so in the Rose Garden, it's not enough to just look. This is a 4D experience. You need to taste and hear. No, you need to smell. And honestly, I've been going around, I've been putting together my own kind of personal rating system, smelling each one, letting you know what looks the best, sounds the best, smells the best. Oh, it smells so good. Do you smell what the rock is cooking? It would have to be the Neptune Hybrid Tea. It smells like, it smells like I'm on the planet in Neptune, but even better because I'm here on Earth and I could breathe oxygen and survive. So make sure you smell them guys and let me know which is your favorite in the comments below. In addition to the beautiful flowers on display, there are some other great features in this garden that you should definitely try and appreciate, namely things such as public art, arches, some nice stairs, fountains, and massive trees surrounding the area, just to remind you that you're in the PNW. Now another way to remind you that you're in the PNW is to go to the top part of the garden and try and get a nice view from the overlooks of Portland in the background. And even if you can, hopefully, see Mount Hood looming in the distance, absolutely massive, looking like the Mount Fuji of the PNW, something like that. And if you do get a good view, please let me know because we were unfortunate to not even get the tiniest little hint of Mount Hood in the background. So sad. So what's your take on the international Rose test garden, Vanessa. It has my heart. It has her heart. What can I do to get it back? Find all these flowers. All right, guys. Just a small loan of one million dollars. <laughs> a small loan of a million dollars. That's all I'll need. <laughs> so that is the immense international rose test garden that can be found in Washington Park in Portland. 
make sure to check out really close by the Japanese garden, the Portland Japanese garden, which I will actually be making a video on very soon. I can't wait guys, make sure to check that out if you're interested. If you wanna see more travel guides, travel content, beautiful sites and everything that gets you excited to go and see and explore the world, make sure to hit subscribe, like the video and comment below your thoughts. Have you been to this place? Anything like that, I'd love to hear from everybody. See you guys in the next video, peace. All right, Wanderers, so we are not kidding. <laughs>